So the way I'm going to do that today is I have a, a Windows XP system where I'm logged in as a local administrator right now. This system is currently being protected by the HIPS manager. And over on, on the side here, I am running Metasploit. Now, Metasploit already contains this particular Stuxnet malware component built into it uh, via a recent uh, update. But Metasploit does a wonderful job of making it easy to uh, build and do penetration testing via many, many, many different exploits out there. And then Stuxnet just happens to be one of many. So what I'm going to do is actually search through all of the different uh, exploits currently contained within Metasploit for the, the one that I want to use, which is right here. So now what I'm going to do is set my payload. You know, I certainly don't want to use a, a rootkit or a, a particular nasty piece of malware. Instead, I'm going to use the uh, window, the, the Windows Meterpreter from Metasploit. Okay, so there are a few variables that I need to set. Uh, we'll take a look at the options. another look. Great. Everything looks fine. So what I'm going to do now is actually launch the exploit. The way that Meterpreter uh, does this is it, set, it built, sets up a, a web server uh, on my box and delivers the shortcut and the Metasploit payload via just browsing to that particular directory. So all I need to do is take my XP system, launch Internet Explorer and go to that website. Now the original uh, the original attack well, here, what's happening right now is you see over on the Metasploit side a lot of activities taking place and basically these are different attacks, these are different attempts uh, to deliver the files and, and thus cause the exploit to execute automatically. Over on the client side, the XP box, here is my shortcut. This is the malformed uh, icon right here. And the point of this is to try to launch this particular DLL, which in reality is a, a, the Meterpreter. But Metasploit, if we take another look over here at Metasploit, is just kind of hanging out. It's not really uh, completed its task. If it had completed its task, that I would have a Meterpreter session up and running right now. Something is blocking it. Okay, fair enough. Now, in reality, of course, it was uh, the Industrial Defender HIPS manager. So what I'm going to do is let's take a look at the uh, HIPS manager and, and simply turn off security. Very easy, very qu quick process to unsecure uh, the endpoints. Once this is unsecured, I'm going to go back and relaunch this attack. Um, I guess the easiest way to do it will just launch another browser. All right, so we'll launch it again. Metasploit picks up where it left off, only this time it looks like it's getting a little bit farther. And here at the bottom, you see a Meterpreter session one has opened up. So if I get a listing of my existing sessions, there you go. You see I have one Meterpreter session set up. Now, some of the more interesting things that you can do once you interact with a, a session is, uh, well, basically almost anything. I can come up with a, a list of all running processes on this box. It just so happens that I'm running as a local administrator already because I'm running under the credentials of the currently logged in user on the XP box. The wonderful thing about that is I can do many, many things. Um, if I get type. So I can grab a hash dump. Now, a hash dump is going to show me all of the user IDs and the hashes for the password so that I can, at my leisure, take these hashes and run them through any number of password crackers that are available out there. Other things I can do. 
um, I can open up a, a remote shell on that box. So now I'm actually on that particular endpoint system. I could do any number of things. I can pull up a list of the users again. I could even create a, another user. And so now I've created a new user called Haxor, and I've added Haxor to the local administrators group. You can also do some other interesting things, such as take a look at the network routing table that's on the remote system as well. From this point on this particular XP system, now I can pivot, if I wanted to, to an internal system that's on the same network as my victim XP system that I've just attacked. And routing tables are an excellent way of finding out uh, other subnets that may be uh, back behind the firewall. Okay, so I hope this was informative. I was able to show you how uh, HIPS Manager from Industrial Defender was successfully able to prevent the attack. Not only was it able to prevent the attack, but the act of uh, the attempt of the attack actually was uh, actually logged and being captured and sent off via syslog to the Industrial Defender SIM. So, um, Hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact uh, Industrial Defender. You can get much more information on www.industrialdefender.com. Thanks.